Hi everyone, welcome back to Audico's Hub. If you like our training videos and tutorials in the field of biotechnology and food technology, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Also, hit the bell icon to never miss any updates. In today's video, you will be given a set of 10 questions and you have 10 seconds to solve each question. Good luck! Junctional diversity of antibody molecules results from Option A. The addition of switch region nucleotides Option B. The addition of P and N nucleotides Option C. The joining of V, D and J segments and option D, mutations in complementary determining Correct answer option B Which one of the following is not used for the measurement of cell viability in animal cell culture? Option A, tripan blue dye exclusion Option B, tetrazoleum assay Option C, LDH activity in the culture medium and option D, Coulter counter. Correct answer option D. Which one of the following techniques relies on the spin angular momentum of a photon? Option A, series spectroscopy. Option B, Fluorescent spectroscopy, option C, IR spectroscopy, and option D, Raman spectroscopy. Correct answer, option A. Read the given statements and identify which one of the following statements is not true. Correct answer option C. Based on their functions, identify the odd man out. Option A miRNA, option B siRNA, option C shRNA, and option D snRNA. Correct answer option D. Prandtl number is the ratio of Option A Thermal diffusivity to momentum diffusivity Option B Mass diffusivity to momentum diffusivity Option C Momentum diffusivity to thermal diffusivity and Option D Thermal diffusivity to mass diffusivity Correct answer option C. Fed batch cultivation is suitable for which of the following? Correct answer option B. A biological process is involved in the DASH treatment of industrial effluent. Option A primary, option B secondary, option C tertiary, and option D quaternary. Correct answer 
So option B. In dead end filtration, the rate of filtration is option A directly proportional to the square root of the pressure drop across the filter medium. Option B inversely proportional to the pressure drop across the filter medium. Option C inversely proportional to the viscosity of the solution. And option D inversely proportional to the square of the viscosity of the solution. Answer Option B Read the following given problem and find out the correct answer. Do let us know your scores in the comment box. Thank you and happy learning.